So a car traveled 30 kilometers east, then traveled 25 kilometers on a bearing of a 70. So how far is the car from its starting point? And the answer to be correct to two decimal places. So in our test, I want you to be underlining the two decimal places so that you're checking at your final answer. So even when they don't have a diagram in a bearing question, you should always be drawing a diagram. So I'm gonna start off with the scenario. So you always generally have a starting point. So I'll draw a little compass um, to say, and this is where I start. Okay, so it traveled 30 kilometers east. So you go along the, 30, the east line and we can write down the pieces of information we know. We go, it goes 30 kilometers east and then it gets to another spot. So as soon as you get to another spot, draw your compass bearings on that as well, the compass lines, so that you can see that that direct east line is a perfect straight line there. Okay, it then traveled, so we're at this next spot, it then traveled 25 kilometers on a bearing of 70 degrees. So what you want, I want you to look at too, if you've drawn your 30 kilometer line about that big, try to be roughly to scale because it can throw you off, the diagram can look incorrect and can throw you off getting the right answer. So it's 25 kilometers, so it should be a bit less than that line. And it's gonna be um, 70 degrees. Now I know this is 90, so I'm gonna say roughly 70. It's coming out here like that, okay? So I've said, all right, that's 25, sorry, that's 25 kilometers along there. And we got to another point, and I'll just draw a little compass. So you start, you should start putting in pieces of information you know. So I knew that in here, was 70, didn't I, yeah? And I also can see that this is 90 degrees, so in there is 90, so that might help. So the question is how far is the car from its starting point? So here now we have the car is finally up here. So the question is, we're joining these two up, yes? How far is that? So I'm gonna call, this distance maybe i'll call it x now that i've done that i've got my little diagram it's best to then draw your triangle you've set up a triangle there now just redraw the triangle with which without all the data with just what you need so if you look i could draw a triangle out like this this is what i want to know now i know combined if i combine these two that this in here is 160 degrees. I know this is 25 kilometers and I know that this is 30 kilometers. Now, if we follow that flow chart of our on the back of our books and it goes, is it a right angle triangle? No. Do we have more than one angle? No. So we'll be using the cosine rule. So with the cosine rule, label up your triangle a, B, C. So I'm just going to call this one A, B, C like that. And therefore, I'm trying to find little B, side B. So I've gone down the flow chart and I want the B formula. So B says this, B equals A squared plus C squared minus 2AC cos B. Okay, so can you all see that on your formula sheet? All right, so we're, what we're gonna do then, all we have to do is we just have to substitute in, this is actually X, so into the calculator, you put the control, um, the sorry, the square root sign. So this sign is found by going, if you don't know, you press control, um, the X squared button, and that will give you the square root, okay? So you just type that in and then we're, putting in all the numbers. So for me, A is 25 squared. This is little a. C is 30 squared minus two times 25 times 30 times cos 160. Okay, and then you can calculate it. Let's do that. Okay, so I actually found X to be 
0.17 and this would be kilometres. So you just say the car is um, 54.17 kilometres because it said two decimal places. So when you do your answers in your test, put a box around it and that way too, when you come back to quickly check, you'll check two decimal places and make sure your answer has two decimal places. Quick way to check and not lose marks. Okay, I'm just gonna add, if at this point you may have used um, the formula where you're gonna have B squared and you might have used N solve, yeah? And it would have been B squared equals A squared plus C squared minus two AC cos B. And you would have gone comma B. You should get the same answer. Okay, a hiker on a bearing of 230 degrees true uh, sorry, walks for eight kilometres. The hiker stops and changes the direction uh, on a bearing of 340 degrees true and walks another five kilometres. All right, so draw a diagram to show what's going on. All right, so you start, start your hiker. So we're going to start with a compass. So we go start. Okay, they then go, so on a bearing of 230, if you go round to the west line, that would be 270. So 230 is going to be out, just out this way. So they went for eight kilometers out like that. So I've gone eight kilometers and it was 230. So there's things that you can pop in information. You know that all the way around there was uh, 230. So up to 180. So you might be popping things in that that's 50 in there. And then you might also pop that that one's 40. Doesn't have to be in there, but it sometimes can help you later on when they ask a question, which you might need. Okay, so they then get to a new spot. They stopped and then they changed directions and they walked at 340 degrees um, for five kilometers. So I probably don't want to draw my line as far as the eight. So I'm just going to go out like that five kilometers. So I knew a few things like it was uh, 200, and, uh, sorry, 340. So that makes this angle in here 70 degrees. How do I know that? Because you went all the way, all the way around was uh, 340, but up to this bit is 270. So I'm saying the difference between 340 and 270 is 70 okay so we've done that and we're at a new spot where well, we're at the end spot so just draw your little compass in like that because it might help now the question was so that's a fine that diagram would get you the marks probably just things in um, black and would and the blue compass would be enough but if you've got the other details that's fine all right, so now they're asking how far west is um, west is the hiker from the starting point. So what you do when you're finding how far west something is, you're generally going to find be using a right angle triangle. Because if you go from, say, the first point to the second point, how far west he is is this distance here. Okay, and then from where he was at the second, from here to the next point, how, sorry, how far west he is, is actually this distance here. So I'll call it west two, yeah? It's not the direct line between them. It's how, just how far west. So maybe when you're doing those questions where they say how far west you are, you should be using a right angle triangle, yeah? So if you look at the first scenario, so when I've got, um, I've got this as my first, and this is what I wanna find, how far west. Now, I already drawn in there, I knew that this was 40 degrees, and I knew this was eight kilometers. So I have a right angle triangle with an angle, so I'd probably be using Sokotoa here. So I've got hypotenuse and I've got adjacent. So I'm gonna use cos beta equals A over H. So into that, I'm gonna write cos 
40 equals W, I'm calling it W, over 8, and you can just solve. So we could go solve, comma, W, and let's see what we get. Okay, so they're actually in our question down here, they're saying nearest kilometre. So when I solve this, um, this W up here, I'm going to the nearest, I get about 6 kilometres. It was 6.1. Okay, so that was the first part of how far west he went. Then he went a bit further west in the second part of it. And that's where I'm using that triangle here. So where I have five. Now, if I know that 70, well, how much would this one be in here? Yeah, good. So you know that's 20 in there. And this W2 is what you're finding. So this case, I've got the sign rule, don't I? I have, because I've got the opposite over the hypotenuse. So I'm going to use sine theta equals O over H. So I've got sine 20 equals W over 5. And you can use solve if you like, comma W, and we're going to get the, the second amount of west. I get it to be 1.7. So it said the nearest kilometer so I'm going to say approximately two kilometers so therefore um, add them together six plus two he's eight kilometers west one group of bushwalkers left a road running north south north to south to walk along a bearing of 60 degrees a second group walkers left the road from a point um, three kilometres further north and they walked on a bearing of 110 degrees. So this one's a little bit harder but what's happening is they're saying they've got a road and it's sort of pretend it's like your north line, yeah? And I'm going to say this first group of walkers, so say one group, this group of bushwalkers, they left on a bearing of 60 degrees, yeah? So what they did... I'm going to say they started here and they went out on 60 degrees. So they went out like that and I'm saying that's 60 degrees. Yeah, so this is the first group and they got to a point or whatever. Okay, then they said the second group of walkers left the road from three kilometres further north. So what they were, they were, they were up here by three kilometres. Yeah, and they left there. So this is where they're leaving on that road and they walked on a bearing of 110. So 110, it's gonna be maybe out like that. So they would be walking out that way, yes? So this would be 110, okay? Whatever they did. So the two groups meet at point C. So I'm just gonna say here's point C, okay? And I might just erase my two extra little walking areas just because it's, we're probably going to do a triangle. So if, now that I have drawn that, I'm starting to think like I might need to fill in this angle in here. What will that be? Good, because a straight line makes 70. Excellent. So find their... Um, so the point C is where they intersect. Find the angle at which their paths meet. So you've got to find this in here. This is what we've got to find. Yeah? And it's 50. Why is it 50? Yeah, because X equals 50 because they all have to add up. Yeah, 180 minus 70 plus 60. Yeah, okay. So we've got X equals 50. And then it says, find the distance walked by each of the groups correct to two decimal places. So I'm going to just label this triangle now. I'm going to call the first group or that first point A and that B. Yeah. So little a is going to be the, um, the second group's walking distance. Yeah. So I might just write that. I'll go A equals second group's distance. And um, B equals, little b equals first group's distance. 
And if I do that, I've made a little statement. So now when I just go and find them, I can do it. And you could use um, heaps of, what rule will we use? If we look at it, do I've got all angles, so we might as well use sine. Yep, cool. So for the first one, little a, I'm going to say little a over sine 70 will equal, um, I'm going to use the C, so 3 kilometres, whoops, don't need the thing, 3, no, am I, oh yeah, sorry, sine 60, sine 60, sorry, that was what A is, over I'm using the C, so 3 over, which you said was 50, yeah? And we can just do solve, comma A, and we'll find out what that is. Okay, so, sorry, that was sine 50, and I get A to equal, did it say two decimal places? So 3.39 kilometres. And now let's find B. So B will be B over sine 70 equals 3 over sine 50. And we can do solve again, comma B. So we get B equals 3.68 kilometres. So there you've done the two distances. Okay, so if the bushwalkers decide to return to the road, um, by walking back along the path the second group of walkers um, had taken, what bearing should they go? So what you're actually doing is you're, you're out here where they met and if you drew their little thing like that. Okay, so and the blue, which one was the purple was the second group's distance, yeah? So if that's what we want here, is we want to know what that bearing all the way round to there is. So we already know if, if in here is 70, isn't there 70 as well? Yeah, because you've got the parallel lines. So you know that 70 in there. So the, the bearing will equal 360 minus the 70, which equals 290 degrees true. Okay, that's that distance all the way back to there. Okay, a yacht, le a yacht P left a port and sailed 45 kilometres on a bearing of 290. So we're just going to say yacht P. So I'm going to start off with what it's doing. So this yacht went out on a bearing of 290. So up here is 270, so 290 is going to be out there. And it sailed, it got to a point, so I draw this, so this was yacht peas out there. Now, put in the bit of information that you know. So you know it was 290, so you know all the way around there was 290. So that makes this angle in here 20, makes that one um, 60, 70 even. And so you've got a bit of information in there, all right? And you know the distance was 45. Okay, another yacht left the same port, so the same starting point, and sailed 50 kilometres on a bearing of um, 40 degrees. So not far off the same distance, so 40 degrees, going to go out here like this. And this is yacht Q. Pop in your compass because now it said that that was 40 degrees. So I know in here is 40. And see how that automatically now I can see what that angle in there, what's that total angle gonna be? 110? Yeah. yeah. So see how that can help you a lot. So if you do the bits of information in the beginning while you're drawing it, you'll it makes it so much easier. So what is the angle between the directions? We just did that. What is it? 110 and how far apart are they so they want those two correct to two decimal places so if I just draw out the triangle sorry a little bit easier I've got 110 here this is 40 kilometers this is 45 kilometers 
if I label it up how I want to, A, B, C, I want the little A. Yeah, sorry, I've just been calling this 40. Just plucking it out of nowhere. It's actually 54. Yeah, good. So we'll change this to 54. And, but anyway, changing that to 54 kilometers. I've got my, I've got my triangle. It's not a right angle triangle. I only have one angle. So do I have more than one angle? No. I'm going to use the cosine rule and the way I labelled it up, I need to find little a. So I'm going to say little a equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos 110. Well, cos a, sorry. So then you plug in those data that you've got. This is little b, this is little c. So 54 squared plus 45 squared minus... Oh god, that's getting messy. Minus two times fifty-four times forty-five times cos one one o. Sorry, getting a bit squashed there. What does that guess? So I got a to b eighty-one point two six kilometers. So that's the distance there.